What is the world's most financially literate country? When people think New Zealand, they tend to think of sheep, rugby, and the Lord of the Rings landscapes. But the land of the long white cloud may actually be the world's most financially literate country. For some time now, my colleagues and I have asked people around the world three basic questions designed to test their financial literacy. Here they are. First, you have 100 euros in an account, and the interest rate is 2% a year. After five years, how much would you have if you left the money to grow? Possible answers include less than, equal to, or more than 102 euros. Second, if the interest rate on your savings was 1% and inflation was 2%, after a year, would you be able to buy more than, less than, or exactly the same as today? And third, true or false, buying a single company stock usually provides a safer return than a mutual fund. The Kiwis, as New Zealanders call themselves, are among the strongest performers so far. Some 85% got the right answer for compound interest, beating the Dutch. By comparison, 82% of the Germans, 71% of Japanese, 65% of Americans, and only 60% of Italians got it correct. Yet overall, my work uncovers very low levels of financial literacy just about everywhere. In many countries, including New Zealand, only one-third or fewer, sometimes far fewer, of the people could answer all three questions correctly. This surprised me. I had expected that nations with highly touted school systems would have educated their population better, particularly in terms of financial concepts. However, most people do not understand the key concepts of compounding, risk diversification, and inflation. This is a big problem since those who are more financially literate also plan and save more for retirement. Today's landscape is one of constantly shifting risk. People are increasingly on their own in terms of retirement planning yet many remain financially illiterate, even at basic levels, and so they are ill-equipped to deal with this new reality. This is why I believe financial literacy education must become a priority of governments, schools, and corporations. 